So I want to showcase to you guys today the bento box. And if you haven't heard of the bento box before, I'm not talking about a Japanese lunch box. I'm talking about the product or the project that you can download over on printables. And there's one very specific reason why I wanted to showcase this to you today. And um, that's because what we have here is a fully 3D printed and ready to go bento box. So after opening this, it's clear that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of assembly, but the reason why I wanted to showcase this to you is partly because safety is really, really important. Remember, safety first, safety last. And if you don't actually know what the bento box is, it's a machine or a, a, should I say a product or a design. It combines a few fans and it combines active acid-free activated carbon and it combines some HEPA filters to clean and purify the air in the environment that you're printing. So a lot of people stick this thing inside their Bamboo Lab X1 series, X1 Carbon, X1. Some people will take a resin printer and they'll put it inside of one of those pop-up tents and then they'll stick this bad boy in there as well. And then it's pretty good all around. It basically is to clean the air. Really, whatever your intended purpose is obviously up to you, but those are a couple or two of the common uses for this particular device. I am not a scientist. I don't really, quite understand all of the science behind active acid-free carbon or the HEPA filters. I know the carbon is going to kind of remove some scent and I think the HEPA filter is going to be what's actually pulling the particulates out of the air, but please don't trust me on that. I'm kind of just some dude that enjoys 3D printing and think this stuff is cool. So the original designer of the bento box is through the frame. I'm going to have the printables page for his design right in the description below and you can go ahead and check it out if you want because by the way this entire project is open source and he has all the files for you to source the pieces that go on the inside of here it has the files to source the switches and to source whatever he has it all laid out and tells you exactly what to purchase what's going to fit and what's going to be best for your bento box so big thank you to Through the Frame for designing it. And actually I just, before this video, went to the principles page and I noticed that on the 3rd of December, 2023, so just four days ago, he had an update posted for the V2 of the bento box. And that means the project isn't dead. The project is ever growing. That means it's getting better. And if you are making these for yourself or for your friends or for your family or whatever, there are updates and you can continue to get a better version as time Time goes on. Hey Pepper, you're finally being in a video again. It's been like two months. Crazy. Pepper? Now, the other particular reason why I wanted to showcase this product to you is because sometimes projects being open source doesn't mean that you can't go out and support a creator that is selling the product themselves. Right, see, I have a brain. I can go look at all the documentation and I can figure out what filters to buy and what wires to buy and I can figure out all the products that I need to buy. And I can also, well, I have a 3D printer. I, I can print whatever components components that I need to print. This by VTech 3 d by the way, thank you for sending this out to me, VTech 3 d The quality is absolutely superb and phenomenal, but I can go and I can print this for myself if I want to. Again, the reason why I'm showcasing this to you is because sometimes, even as a maker myself, I don't have the time or I don't have the ability to source all the components. And kind of what I'm getting at here is really, honestly, just a big thank you to those makers that are actually making stuff like this and selling it for people to just simply go out, buy what they need, get it shipped to them, and they can just put it together and stick it in their machine. All right, so while I'm on the topic of having parts 3D printed and shipped to your house, 
There is another way to do that and they're wonderful people and it's time for me to introduce them as the sponsor of today's video. Now I know you guys have heard of PCBWay before but what you might not know is they have a 3D printing department as well. Now the great thing about PCBWay is they don't only print standard materials, you can also print peak, ASA, or even stainless steel and titanium. Now in order to provide the highest quality service, prior to printing, PCBWay is actually going to perform a full model analysis of the file you uploaded. That will ensure when your print arrives it's going to be exactly as you envisioned it. What are you waiting for? If you want to learn more, check the link in the description below. And actually, one thing that is beneficial is when you purchase from a maker like VTech 3D, most of it is already actually pre-assembled. So he's got the 4020 blower fans already assembled and the switch is already assembled. It already has the sticky on the back side of this. Pretty much everything is ready to go. I just need to open up the instruction manual and just do the last final finishing touches in order to make this thing actually work. See, this is actually really great for me because this is a project that I have been very interested in for a long time, but I'm doing so many other things that I just don't have time to build this stupid thing. I don't have time to print it and I don't have time to source the parts or source the electronics. I don't have time to screw the fans in. So honestly, being able to get something like this printed and mostly assembled and shipped to my house is just exciting because now I can just kind of do the final touches and it's pretty fun. Because I've never actually gone and specifically looked at printing this because I knew I didn't have the time for it, I didn't really know too much about it. But now that I've got it in my hands looking at it, it's pretty freaking sweet how it works. So you've got this bento box style setup here where you've got the carbon in here. So you basically separate the HEPA filter side. And then in here, you've got the place for the carbon pellets. You've got a slide lid. Basically, you just slide the lid off and you just pour the active carbon in here. And then you put the lid back on, stick this sucker in here, and then you take the HEPA filter side and you put it on top like, well, somehow, you gotta be smarter than the machine. Oh, yeah. Stick the stinking thing on, you take a HEPA filter and you just ram it in here and it all fits well. I'm just not good at doing it. But once you put the HEPA filter in, you can see the HEPA filter on the other side. I don't know, I just think this is just cool. And then over here, you've got your two 4020 blower fans. Actually, they might be 5020 blower fans. I saw something about the V2 update being 5020, I don't know. But you've got your two fans on the bottom and then you just stick the rest of the box on. It just clicks together. And now you've got something where you just stick this on the inside of your machine. Okay, obviously the wires don't go there, but you just stick this on the inside of your machine and flip the power switch to the on position and then it's just humming away it's pulling air in purifying your air you're not gonna die anymore he's alive vtech 3d is for the euro sales of the bento box so he ships well euro power supplies good thing i have an adapter so i can plug my adapter in oh wow europeans got some skinny plugs can plug the adapter in try three can plug the this isn't working out for me I can't do this. I can't plug the adapter in because I don't know how to use an adapter. Okay, whatever. Anyway, you take your plug and you plug it into the wall and you take your barrel connector and you plug your barrel connector in. Mine's not wired up, but if it was wired up, somehow. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on. I think this being offered as a package is just a seriously wonderful thing because as a maker myself, I've already said this, but I have to say it again. As a maker myself, I'm constantly doing my own thing. And for me to print and source these parts is kind of boring work for me. I would rather go and print other things, things that I enjoy. And the fact of the matter is, it might actually be cheaper for me to get this from VTech 3D because he's getting the active carbon at bulk rates. Getting it cheaper. He's getting the HEPA filters at bulk rates. Even cheaper, right? If I was to source this component or this part myself, I would probably pay two or three times the price that he's paying. So same with the PETG. If you want to print this, or if you want to be able to use this in an enclosed chamber, printing high temp materials, which are probably gonna be the materials that you wanna use this kind of device in, it can't be printed in PLA because you have a really hot chamber. So you're gonna to have to print this in a high temp material. So if you don't already have the PETG, then you're not gonna be able to use this. The other thing is, sure, I have a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. I can print in quality that is just 
just as fantastic and just as phenomenal to this right here, which by the way, it is fantastic quality. But you know, I have a Bamboo Lab X1 carbon here. I can print this level of quality, but if you don't have a printer that can print this level of quality, this thing has parts that are removable and they're gonna have to be removed my bad. They're gonna have to be removed over and over again and you're going to need really high quality on stuff like this. So if your printer can't produce that level of quality, that's just another reason to go to a person like VTech 3D to get this kit just shipped to you ready to go. So while I'm not going to be assembling and sticking this thing into the printer right now, this stuff is really messy. I don't have gloves right now. It's pretty obvious how it goes together and there's really good instructions on the printables page. And actually, if you talk to VTech himself, he can probably supply you with instructions as well. But guys, I'm just really excited to see stuff like this on the market because I don't like wasting my time. And if I can buy it from someone else, my life is made. I've kind of said the same thing over and over again, so I'm not really sure what else to say in this video. I'm just gonna, yeah. I don't know, this thing is just super sweet. Now, now I gotta build it. It's mostly built already. Now I gotta finalize it. Oh my gosh, I got the adapter. He made it! To work. We're all good in the neighborhood now. I can use my bento box. Okay, I have nothing else to say. This thing is fantastic.